Hi and welcome back to another video. My name is Ivana from Healthy Back Pilates and today we are doing a morning mobility routine to prepare the body for the day ahead. So we're going to really focus on mobilizing your joints, mobilizing your spine and also we're going to do a couple of stretches to open up your body. You don't need any props for this session, just your lovely self and your mat. Let's begin. So we're going to come onto the hands and your knees. And just check that your hands are right underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. Spread your fingers nice and wide and have a little bend in the elbows so the elbows are soft. And then imagine you have a pencil attached to your belly button and you're going to start to draw a circle on the mat with that pencil. So you're going from wrist to wrist to knee to knee and just start to mobilizing your joints, waking up your wrists, your knees, your hips. Make sure you're breathing deeply, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. And then let's reverse direction. Good. And then find yourself back in the center. And then you're gonna lift the fingertips of your right hand and you're going to stretch the right heel of the hand forward stretching into that shoulder as you inhale and then exhale to come back and then inhale reach your left arm forward and stretch and exhale to come back twice more lift your fingers and reach the right heel of the hand forward lean into that arm stretch into the shoulder come back inhale reach your left arm forward and exhale we got one more on each side. Inhale, reach. Exhale. And inhale, reach your left arm forward. And exhale. Good. And then you're going to turn your right leg out to the side. Stretch your left leg to the side. Reach that left arm over the head. Inhale. And then as you exhale, draw a big circle with that left arm. Inhale, reach the arm away. Exhale to circle for two. We got three more. Inhale, reach. And circle for three. And exhale. One more. Good. And then place your hand down. Second side. So you just roll the left leg out. Stretch your right leg. Foot in line with the hip. Right arm reaches over the head, inhale, stretch into that side, and then exhale to circle for one. Exhale, circle for two. Circle for three. Circle for four. Nice and slow, last time. And circle for five. And then place your hand back down. Good. Knees are underneath the hips and then you're going to arch your back, look up to the ceiling, relax the space between your eyebrows and then exhale, tuck your tailbone under and then round your spine and then inhale, lift the sit bones up, arch your back and exhale to round. Twice more, inhale to arch. And exhale to round your spine. Very good. Last time. Breath in, arch your back. And breath out to round. Good. You're going to lengthen that spine so you are in neutral and stretch your right leg out to the side. Now, whole of the foot is on the floor and the toes are pointing straight ahead. And then we're going to inhale to go back, feeling that stretch into the inner thigh here. And then exhale to come forward. Inhale to go back. Exhale to come forward. Twice more. Inhale. Feeling that stretch into that inner thigh. Last time. Inhale. We go back. And exhale. Good. Switch leg. Extend that right leg out to the side. Whole of the foot is on the floor and the toes are pointing straight ahead. And then inhale. We go back. So hinging back from the hip. Exhale to come forward. Inhale, we go back. Exhale. We got two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last time. Inhale. 
and exhale good and then bend that knee tuck your toes under and then we're gonna lift the sit bones straight up to the ceiling now in the morning usually the legs are pretty stiff so i want you to keep your legs bent and then you're gonna try to stretch through the upper body so press through the arms try to get the chest as close to the legs as possible and take a nice big breath in through the nose and exhale take a sigh out Twice more. Inhale. Exhale. Take a sigh out. And last time. Big breath in. Big breath out. Good. And then you're going to inhale. And as you exhale, just stretch that left leg. So open through the back of your left knee. Try to lower that left heel down to the floor. Inhale to bend, and then as you exhale, stretch through that right leg. Try to lower the heel down to the floor without rounding your back. Inhale to bend, and again, left leg, exhale, and bend. Right leg, and bend, twice more. Left leg, and one more. Good, and then inhale to exhale, try to straighten both legs and lower the heels down. And we're gonna hold for three breaths. Inhale, exhale, take a side out. And don't worry if it's not perfect, if you can't get your heels down or you can't straighten the legs, it doesn't matter, you're still stretching. You're hopefully still feeling the stretch in the back of the legs. Inhale, exhale. Last time, breath in and breath out. Good. And then we're going to release the knees down. You're going to walk your hands forward, sink your hips down, relax your toes, squeeze your buttock, and then just open through the front of the body. Now make sure we're not sinking down into the shoulder. So we're going to lift out of the shoulder, lift the crown of the head up, and hold for two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. And then inhale. And then as you exhale, round your back, draw the navel into the spine and take a child's pose. Then look towards your hands, come onto the hands and your knees, drop the hips down. Biceps roll in, squeeze to the rib cage, lift the crown of the head up, inhale. Exhale, round through the spine, draw the navel into the spine as you go back into that child's pose position. Let's repeat, inhale to come forward. Open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the crown of the head up. Exhale, round your back, sit down onto the heels. Child's pose, twice more. Inhale, come forward, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And of course, if this hurting your back, don't go too far into the stretch. So maybe if this, if this position is hurting your back, maybe you just keep your hips lifted. Slightly higher and don't forget to squeeze your glutes. Exhale. Good. Last one. We're going to go forward. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Open the chest. And then exhale. And then we're going to stay in the child's pose. Turn the palms up to the ceiling. Take a two deep breaths into the back of your ribs. So we're going to inhale. Exhale. And one more breath. Turn the palms down now, slide your hands to the knees, and then turn your fingers towards your knees, stretch the front of the wrist and your forearms. Good, take one more breath. And then release, and we're just gonna roll the wrist. Good, and then change direction. Good, and then hands to the floor, stretch the right leg back behind you, stretch your left leg back behind you, and then we're just gonna warm up the feet. So we're gonna lean forward, and then exhale, push into the feet. And you're gonna roll onto the toes, push into the feet. Now let's do five, four, three, two, and one. Good, and then we're gonna lift your hips back up. Good. Take another breath in. 
And then as we exhale, we're going to lift that right leg up, bend the knee, and draw five circles with that right hip. One. And circle for two. And three. And four. And five. Good. And we're going into the pigeon. So that right knee goes behind your right wrist. Shin ideally parallel to the edge of the mat. Flex your foot and then pull the shoulders down. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And then as you exhale, if you can, you go down onto the forearms. We're not going to stay here for too long. I just really like to stretch my hips out in the morning. I love a bit of pigeon in the morning. So just hold it there and breathe. You should feel a nice stretch on the outside of your right hip. Good, I'll just take another deep breath in. And then as we exhale, come on to your hands, lift your hips up and just marching on the spot again, just getting a stretch into the legs. Good, and then let's try the other side. So inhale your left leg up and then draw five circles. Circle for one. And exhale, circle for two, big circles. And circle for three. And circle for four. And one more circle for five. Good. And we go into the pigeon. So left knee behind the left wrist. Flex your left foot. Walk your right leg back. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And then exhale. If you can, you're going to go down onto the forearms. If you can't, just stay on your hands. Let's just hold it here for another five breaths. Good, one more breath. And then place your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes under of your right foot, lift your hips up, and one more time, just walk on the spot, stretching out the back of your legs. Good, hopefully the legs are getting a little bit looser by now. Good, and then both legs nice and straight, reach the sit bones up to the ceiling and press into the arms, try to get the chest as close to the thighs as possible. Take one more breath. And then as you exhale, lower the knees down, big toes together, sit down onto the heels. And just walk your arms over to your right and reach your left arm a little bit further forward than your right hand. Stretching underneath the left armpit into that left side of the ribcage. And you're going to walk your arms over to the other side and then reaching your right arm a little bit further forward than the left and just hold and breathe. Good. Back to the center and then slowly slide your hands to the knees, roll your spine up, sitting on your heels. You're going to insulate the fingers behind your back and then roll the shoulders back, stretch your arms back. And lift that breastbone up to the sky. Hold for three breaths. Try to look up to the ceiling. Good. And then release. Tuck your toes under. And then just rock forward and back. Forward and back. Stretching your feet, your calves. Good, and then go for circles, so circling from the ankle. Waking up the feet, getting some mobility in the ankles and in your toes, and then change direction.
Good, and then release, and we're gonna finish off in a seated posi position, right hand next to your hip, and then just stretch out into your neck. So drop your right shoulder down, tilt your head to the left, and make sure you're still centered on your sit bones. You're not leaning to one side. Head goes back in line with the rest of the spine. One more breath. Release and we switch. Good, and then release, rotate your head gently from side to side. And then I want you to look up, go as far as you can, opening, stretching the throat, and then draw the chin to the chest without dropping your head forward. Twice more, looking up, go as far as you can, and then exhale, nodding the chin to the chest without collapsing with the head. And last time, looking up, and drawing the chin to the chest. Good, and then you look forward and relax. Good, well done guys. I hope you enjoy this short and sweet morning mobility routine. Let me know what you think in the comments below. That's it for me, have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.